advocate for open source technologies design, um, women inclusion, diversity for open source through Oscar. And also, uh, you'd also find me advocating for women in technology, African women coming into technology and also prospering in technology through my organization, She Code Africa. And every now and then I host podcasts for For Loop Africa on the podcast called For Loop Pod. And also I am on the DevRel team at Google where I handle where I handle where I handle and manage Google developer groups and women tech maker chapters across sub Saharan Africa. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, my voice is a little bit bad because I'm like, you know, I'm a little bit stressed. But yes, uh, my name is Samson Gaudi. Um, I'm co-founder for Open Source Community Africa, which is a project that I really love. Um, I have a little bit of, I have a little bit of contributions everywhere, but I have two things that are kind of important to me because they're like the closest things that are currently I'm focusing on right now. Um, at the beginning of the year, I joined the board for Open Source Collective, which is the fiscal host for the, um, thank you. Which is the fiscal host for the uh, Open Source Community Africa, which is hosting this festival. Um, and then I used to be part of the board for Sugar Labs, which kind of uh, made me to join um, open source in the first place. Um, so that's everything about me. So you can follow me on Twitter. Again, um, Samson underscore Gaudi, if you think I, I tweet interesting things. But if you don't follow me, <laughs> it's fine. OK. So before we go into what we're about to talk about today, I'd like to give you a few quick facts. Now, one out of every 30 developers are aware of what open source is. That means in the gathering of about 30 developers, just one person understands what open source is. Now, out of that uh, quota, just 0 0.001 of these 30 are technical writers. And out of this quota as well, just 0 0.0001 of every 30 is a designer. Now, we'll do a quick throwback. Now, if you notice, February is a significant month for us internally in the Oscar organization. Now, why is this so? I'll give you a quick journey of how Open Source Community Africa started. In 2017, I became friends with Samson on Facebook because I saw his passion for open source and how he was advocating for open source across Africa. As of then, Samson and Prosper were sort of the most vocal open source advocates in Nigeria. I reached out to Samson because I wanted a community where we could include every other person who was interested in open source but didn't find a community to grow with and also get more people to become creators of open source technologies, projects, and tools across Africa. So in 2017, February 2017, we created that idea. In February 2018, we became, an, we became a community and an organization and had our first event in Port Harcourt, which was um, in partnership with the River State Government. At this event, we spoke about uh, getting started with Google Summer of Code, which was the highlight of the event and also had Josh, as of then, was at Google, speak remotely at the event. Now back to this. Now in 2019, this was still in February. Now each of these uh, events happened in February. In February 2018, we became a community, officially became a community, that's Open Source Community Africa, and also became an organization, Open Source Community Africa. In 2018, we got registered as Open Collective. We got registered under Open Source Collective. This was February 2019. And now, February 2020, coincidentally, we are having the first Open Source Community Africa Festival. And if you notice, there are three question marks, which means, what next? So the current starts, um, just like what Ada mentioned, in 2017, I met Ada, and the idea was to try to create a community where lots of people that are interested in open source, not just programmers, but also like designers, people that love writing, and just people that just love talking to people. And the idea was, how do we form a community? Um, so in 2018, um, we figured, okay, we need to make sure that we have structures everywhere. 
And the best way to do that is to have some sort of chapters in every city. Because I live in Port Harcourt and I live in Lagos. So there's no point for us to, you know, in terms of travel logistics, to be everywhere. So the point was to extend the Oscar community into cities. Um, at the moment, sorry. So at the moment, as you can see, we're in five countries from 2018, 11 cities. And according to our Zulu chat channels, in terms of um, people, in terms of invites, we have a thousand plus members, which is a good number. And also, um, these photos are, um, the, the first one you're seeing there is from Oscar Nairobi in Kenya. Um, this is in Port Harcourt, I think also in, um, in Nairobi, and some bunch of um, um, open source um, festival, I'm sorry, open source um, chapter events that we have across um, Nigeria and also um, other countries in Africa. Now, this is what Open Source Community Africa is about. We are divided into two different parts, which is the community and the projects. Now, on the community, we're focused on growing more chapters with the goal of having at least one chapter in every country across Africa. And also the festival, which is the first, uh, the first one ha happening here today. And we intend to have this as an annual headline event for Open Source Community Africa, aka Oscar. And then all the um, projects, we have advocacy. Our goal for Oscar as at, on the advocacy is to get more enthusiasts, more experts to come into Open Source Community Africa and act as advocates for open source across Africa. And we're starting with you, so one person, one open source at a time. And also contributors as well. We hope and plan to grow as many contributors as possible on projects, not just across Africa, not just African projects, but also global projects as well. So there's been an interesting thing about the open source community Africa, which is very important to us as a, as a community, because one of the factors that we, we, we tend to use to know if the community is growing is based on results. And as part of what I do uh, as an open source um, evangelist or whatever everybody want to call me, is to make sure that I talk to projects that have interest or are looking forward to get contributors from Africa. And that's the aim of the Open Source Community Africa, is to try to get this organization you know, in from the, uh, the US or somewhere in Europe or someplace in Asia down to Africa to do events. Because as you may know, going to conferences in the US is very hard because of the visa policies and also in Europe. Um, so yeah, so what, we, what, what we've been doing so far is been collaborating with you know, companies that have open source tools, uh, foundations that, that, that centered around open source to help host events around um, um, Africa. And th it's very interesting because in 2018, I, I remember talking to um, Bology. Uh, he's, I, I know all of you must, must know Bology. He's the one, you know, the advocate for Hashinode, our chief. Chief, where are you? Where's Bology? Once again, thank you very much, boss. So Bology, uh, we started talking a little bit in 2018, when he, was, uh, he reached out to me like, hey, um, I want to contribute to this project, but I'm not sure um, what exactly um, I should be gaining. And the interesting thing about it is, he started working on the website, because, I was so, because obviously, I and Adak can do everything. That's the one beauty thing about community. We wanted more members, and Bolari reached out to us, so like, hey, I can help out with the, with, the, with the project, and that's how he started contributing to Oscar. And fast forward to 2019, now he, he works now at DevRel, which is, we are so proud to make sure to, to announce that Bolaji has been doing really, really well. And right now, he's currently helping us with the community to make sure that we grow larger. Um, another person here is, um, I think I'll have to go to this slide so you can see. Um, another person here is Favor. I met Favor in 2018. Um, she's a, a curious person that wanted to get into technology. And the best way for me at that time was to look for ways to get her into the open source space. And luckily for us, at that moment, Oscar was more structured. So she was working with Bolaji in terms of helping out with the, um, the code contributions while she was learning how to code. And in 2019, she joined the organization that I, I, I was part of as a board member, um, Sugar Labs, as a, as a student for Google Summer of Code, which is, which is another core thing for us as the open source community to show how our members, we have a lot of members, how our members are really growing really well when it comes to contribution to open source. Because one of the things that you know, we plan to show here, or the reason I'm showing these two faces, is to tell you that not every time you need to ask for some certain level of money. 
Now, before you attack me, please, I like money too, right? Who doesn't like money? Who doesn't like money? If you like money, raise up your hand. If you like money, raise up your hand. If you like money, stand up. <laughs> okay, fine. So, at that time, you know, we, we, we were still trying to understand what is the space for us to raise money. So, these two people, and also alongside um, um, Perry and numerous um, um, members, have been working tirelessly to make sure that the open source community in Africa has grown rapidly. Now, moving on to the festival. And Today, annual event that's going to bring forth more than 800 attendees with 20 plus talks from speakers from across the world, just like I mentioned yesterday, with 10 plus workshops. This event kicks, uh, kicks yesterday, day before yesterday, and today's day three. Now, we plan on having these as our headline events, just like I mentioned earlier, as a headline events for Oscar. So, every year, this plans to hold every single year and we intend to make it as diverse, as inclusive and geographically spread as possible. Now, just from day two yesterday from the event, we've been getting numerous tweets and numerous feedback. These are some of the tweets that we had to screenshot and add to our slides to show you the impact, the level of impact that this festival has been able to make on people who have been able to attend it. Now, what do we have in plan for OSCA in 2020? First things first, we plan to collaborate with our sister community, She Code Africa, to include, to create more diversity and inclusion. Now, why do we plan to do this? In 2017, a survey was carried out and found out that out of 100% of contributors, a survey was carried out of contributors and found out that out of 100% of contributors, just 3% of these contributors were ladies. And out of that 3%, most of the female contributors were focused on the non-technical aspect of this. Now, in OSCA, we plan to make our organization and our community and activities very diverse and support gender diversity as well. Being Africans living in Africa, we already hit with the fact that there are less people, less people of color in tech, and also the fact that there are lesser number of women who are into open source and into technology as well. Now, one of the ways that we plan, one of the ways that we plan to do this, or one of the ways we started out with doing this, was giving out about 300 tickets to women who were interested in attending in attending this event. And that 300 tickets is about. Now that 300 percent is. Ticket is about 37 percent of the attendees. That's why you have a diverse number of attendees who are here for this festival. Now we plan to uh, partner with She Code Africa in inaugurating and uh, kickstarting the Women of Oscar, uh, Women of Oscar activities, where Women of Oscar will be a smaller in-built community under OSDA to bring together, together more women who are interested, more African women who are interested in open source, looking for a smaller community to connect and partner and collaborate with other women who are also into open source as well. And to talk about more how we plan to expand from the open source community Africa, we can, can you hear me? Okay, so um, as I'm saying, as more as we want to expand from the open source community Africa, we want to make sure that we have more diverse skill set into open source. And I'm here, I'm, sure, I'm so sure that everybody here, if you know you're a designer, can you raise up your hand? Designers. Show love for the designers. Show love for the designers, everybody. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to be talking less about this because we have somebody that will be talking more about this collaboration. But one of the most important things about the open source community Africa is to try to make sure that we have more diverse skills as possible, which will be collaborating with the open source design team. Um, I met with some of the, the, the folks at um, um, uh, FOSDEM which we're discussing about how we want to expand this opportunity. So if you're a designer and you're still scared about contributing to open source, don't worry. After today, we start having that conversation and you will learn more after this keynote. Um, yeah, and another thing about the open source community Africa, aside from design, is about raising money. How, how many of you here has been in the position where you're trying to ask for companies for money? 
tried to ask for committees for money to run events. Wait. Are you guys hungry? <laughs> okay, so if you're hungry, how do you want to eat if you don't have money? Okay, let me repeat again. How many of you here have been in the position when you're asking company for money to help run community events? Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. If you don't raise up your hand, no food. No food, no food, no food. <laughs> raise up your hand. How many of you are successful? Like, you were successful enough to receive the money? No, you, Steven. <laughs> okay, so if you know you've been having a hard time raising money for your community events, raise up your hand. Yeah, so one of the things that I noticed while talking to companies and also traveling to talk about um, raising money is due to the fact that First, there's a currency problem. The, the chances of you receiving money, there's always a, uh, the 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 naira and the dollar rate is always in, almost impossible when you're trying to ask Hello? companies for money. And of course, you know the other ones that I'm trying not to say, which is very obvious, which is company trying to give you money if you're trying to host um, events in Sub-Saharan Africa. So, but I'm not going to go into much of, the, of a detail. That is one of the reasons why in 2018 I had the opportunity to go to Sustain um, London which was the, uh, the first time I met Steven, and I also met Pia Mancini. So Pia Mancini is the founder, uh, co-founder from the Open Collective, uh, the Open Source Collective, which, is, which, which owns the Open Collective platform, where uh, as a project, you can um, go register and then raise money. So one of the things that we're trying to do is to talk to open source maintainers, people that have communities, to see how we can help to make sure that there's more projects in Africa on the Open Collective platform. And as one of my role as a board member, which I think is a, is, a, is a strong fact for me, is to make sure that we have this thing done. And about three weeks ago, we officially created Open Collective Nigeria. And the aim for that to do... So one of the goals for the Open Collective Nigeria, which is still pending, is to try to make sure that we register Open Collective Nigeria in Africa so it makes it much easier for you to have your smaller projects in Open Collective Nigeria so you can talk to companies to help you to raise money. So it's so easy for you to say, hey, by the way, there's a transparent method for you to send me money and you can also track how the money is being spent. That is why Open Collective and Oscar will be working. First, I'm never here, I've heard about the bounty program. So as of today, or as of three days ago, we worked with Open Collective, online, as we did in our, um, um, other events, to create a set of bounties. And the reason for that bounty is, I've been hearing a lot of questions from contributors in Africa over Twitter, like they say, hey, Samson, I want to contribute to open source, but what are the ways for me to make money or to sustain my, myself as, a, as an open source developer or as an open source engineer? Um, just like the, uh, um, some of the data you might be seeing is, Africa as a continent, about, it's one of the most youthful, no, no, sorry. In Nigeria, there's about 60 to 70% of the youth, um, a population that are youth. So it's almost impossible for you to get a job if you're 20 because all the companies ask you for like 10, 20 years experience, right? And how do you want to work on open source full time if you don't have an opportunity for you to sustain yourself? That is why we have one, like great project like Def Career that is helping to raise money abroad and bring them down to Nigeria and for you to get more computers. <laughs> Shout out to Sultan. Sultan, thank you very much, Sultan. <laughs> So, so we worked with Open Collective. As of today, we have a bounty worth $1,000, ranging from $100 per bounty. So you go to the Open Collective uh, platform, uh, which I think at the end of today, you also hear about the bounty again. So there's a bunch of uh, issues on GitHub that are tagged $100, $200, $300, and $1,000. So you have the opportunity to go fix projects, and you can earn money through the Open Collective Nigeria, which again, is one of the partnerships from the, the Open Source uh, Community Africa. And one of the, the proudest moments that our team, I think, we've, 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 we've been able to achieve is partnering with the, uh, the, one of the, 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 the foundation behind the definition of open source. And we know that we have, we know we have the, the Free Software Foundation and then we have the OSI, which is the Open Source Initiative. How many of you have heard about the Open Source Initiative? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Bring your hand down. You know you have a license on GitHub. And you don't know the Free Software Foundation and the Open Source Initiative, raise your hand. Don't worry, we'll give you food. Just raise your hand. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So one of the things that we've been working for the mo- uh, 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 one of the things we've been working for more than a year now is to try to see how we can collaborate with the open source initiative to make sure that we better define open source, help younger maintainers to understand things like licenses, and also join forces with them to do more advocacy within Africa. So I'm proud to announce that as of today, the Open Source Community Africa just joined the Open Source Initiative as an affiliate member. So now we're inviting you to join us. If you're not yet a part of Open Source Community Africa, say a friend brought you along or you heard about this event and decided to come attend it. You can follow us on Twitter at OSC Africa. You can visit our website, oscafrica.org. And you can also join us on Open Collective at opencollective.com.osca. With due time, we'll be rolling out ways to become more legitimate members of the Open Source Community Africa via our Twitter channel. So please do stay tuned for more updates on that. And thank you very much. But before, before, Save the clap. before we step down, we'd like to invite our community manager, Bolaji Ayodeji, to come talk about how to become a chapter lead for Oscar, tell you about the benefits for those of you who are interested in becoming OSCA leads. And please give him a round of applause. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay, cool. So just to continue from what we've discussed already around um, the chapters. So we'll be rolling out um, a new structure for our chapters and for our community. So first of all, if you want to become a chapter lead, like Ada and Samson mentioned, we have 15 plus chapters in about 20 countries now in Africa. So if you want to create a chapter or become a lead, you just go to oscarafrica.org, the previous link they showed you, slash community. There's a form there where you fill and then you just fill the form and then you become a chapter lead. So ongoing, we'll be having some chapter programs. We'll be having community-focused workshops and a couple of mentorship and partnerships for the chapters. And then we'll be having some Google open source programs and mentorship with regards to Google Summer of Code, Google Coding, and Google Citizen of Docs. So just check out that link. I can't go back to the previous slide. I think you saw that. You saw the link? Oh, just, yeah. OscarAfrica.org, in the menu, you just see community there, and then you see all the forms you need to fill to become um, a chapter lead and create a chapter. So with regards to that, we now have a new Discord server for our general community. Anyone heard about that before now? The Discord server? How many of you are in the server already? Cool. Thank you very much. So you just have to join that server. All the speaker slides and all will be there, and our ongoing conversations will be in the Discord server. Please ensure to join that. Um, the link is not here. It's just bit.ly slash OSCA hyphen Discord. Okay, bit.ly slash OSCA hyphen Discord. Did you get that? Bit.ly slash OSCA slash Discord. I think, sorry. Okay. I'll share the link with you guys later on. You can just follow us on Twitter. I'll, I'll make sure I tweet the link. Bit.ly slash OSCA hyphen Discord. That's it on that. Um, so we now have some sub departments in Open Source Community Africa. I already mentioned women in open source. We're going to be having an engineering team where we have mentorship and open source projects. And we're going to have a design team, data science team, and documentation team. So for the data science team, we'll be, we'll be having mentorship, data science sprints, and challenges for those who would want to join that. So ensure to join the Discord channel. Um, there are several channels for all these departments. Just make sure you join them, and then you'll see them there. And for the design, so the design um, leads will come over later on and then tell, tell you more about that. But they're they are trying to initialize a new structure for designers whereby they can initiate a structure where you can understand how to contribute to open source in Africa. And they will also be, be bringing up community-focused design workshops to introduce you to open source design and how you can contribute. It's going to be hands-on. And also, they're going to have some sort of shared processes collaboration whereby they're trying to integrate you guys to shared collaboration using tools like GitHub for design. We know GitHub is being used for developers and all. So we want to start using GitHub for designers and how you can collaborate for, um, effectively with that. And also, they're going to have some couple of design projects where everyone can contribute to. You know, more often we have open source projects and they're just engineering, engineering, engineering. So we'll be having a couple of design projects now where designers can contribute and tons of that. So ensure you join the Discord server, bit.ly slash OSCA hyphen Discord, and ensure you join several channels you're interested in. So thank you. Just give it to us. Give something else. 
Okay. Um, now that you've heard about how to become a part of our Oscar community, we're going to be introducing Perry Peace Ojeme, and she's the design lead at OSCA. Perry is going to be coming up with one of the team members on our design team to tell you about our involvement on how to improve open source in design across Africa. Don't worry, your food is behind. Come on, take it off. The truth is, this design was this event was designed to trend, and I need you to help me make it trend. It's trending already. We need to train. We need to be like number one in Africa, in the world. And I need you to do it now in the next couple of minutes. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our design structure and how we actually came up with almost everything you are seeing and feeling around this um, event. Um, if you want to know more about the community around design, please join the Discord channel, like Bolaji has said, and then you get more information. But my name is Peace Ujeme, but I know most of you know me as Perry. Yeah, Perry is my nickname, and that's why I like people call, to call me. My name is Joshua Ofo, and fondly called Perry Ofo, which is my surname. So. Okay, now, everybody, can you relax and follow me from the gate? to the registration, to the lobby, down to the hall, to the breakout sections. Are there things you noticed? Are there very, very pro prominent um, patterns, colors, typefaces, experience you, f you felt? Yeah. And since yesterday, we've actually been getting um, a lot of favorable feedbacks from the community. We really, really appreciate your efforts in appreciating our efforts to make this experience good for you. So take a look around you. Um, let's start from the breakout section. Okay, so from the breakout sessions where we have downstairs and even the hall outside, you, you notice something which is very common. All the halls are named after prominent cities in Africa, which goes a long way to tell us how inclusive the open source community for Africa is. To see how best we could actually integrate the African community into our designs. Um, the halls are named after the cities. Um, there are, there's Lagos, there's Accra, there's Addis Ababa, there's um, Nairobi. They all tell you that Open Source Community for Africa is an integrative um, organization, and we're looking for ways to see how we can improve the inclusiveness in our designs. Also, if you look at the, on the boards, on the, the boards and the, the workshops and the breakout sessions, you see that our patterns are used to create directional signs, which just tell you that these patterns are very integrative. We could use them across board and into our typefaces and the rest of them. So the patterns you see around you were actually designed from scratch. The typefaces too. After this event, we're actually going to be open sourcing every component we use for the design. So anyone can actually take it to create the ads. And each of these patterns and typefaces to the little dots you see has a meaning. So we're actually going to be writing a proper documentation on how everything came to life and why we use most of our components. So you read about that after the event. Now let's turn our tags, everybody. Can we attendees? Can attendees turn their tags? You can see alphabets. Can we see alphabets? Can we see the BR codes? Okay. Can we bring out our phones? This, is, this event was designed to trend. I need you to help me make it trend. Can we all bring out our phones, please? Can we scan that VR code? I'm really very sorry, speakers and organizers. Um, the vendor was actually supposed to do that, but he. So I'm sorry you don't have that. But the attendees, everybody bring out your phone. Every single person in the room, bring out your phone. Scan the BR code. Scan the BR code. It opens up Twitter, right? It opens up Twitter, right? Can we tweet it? Every single person in this room should tweet about that. Take a picture. You can take a picture of yourself, of the stage, of anybody. Make a tweet and post it on Twitter. You have a lot of time to do that. Can we all scan our codes and make a tweet? Have we all done that? 
Now let's turn our phones. Raise your phones up. Take a picture from every single angle you are. Take a picture directly into the stage. From the back, I want the heads in front of you to show. Take a picture from every single angle you, have, you are in the hall. I can't see phones up. I need to see your phones up. I need to see your phones up, please. Take a picture from every single angle you are in this hall to the stage. Your camera should be directing. I want to see all phones in this direction, please. Your cameras all on stage. Don't take, don't, don't take your phone above the heads. I want the heads to show. Everybody take one picture and make a tweet with our hashtags. Everybody take one picture and make a tweet with our hashtags. These are hashtags. Please, every single person, take a picture from wherever you are in the room. Make a tweet with these hashtags. Feel free to tag the Oscar community at OSCA Africa. You can tag Perry as well. You can tag me. and We're going to retweet the tweets. Pictures, tweets. Are we training already? No, you're not doing much work. I need you to take more pictures and make a tweet. Tweets with our hashtags. Oscar Fest, OSF, Sustain Africa. Okay, I think um, we'll have to come back to this, but then there's a second component on your tag for attendees. You can see alphabet. Some of you have the alphabet N, some have the E, some have I, some have N, B, and the rest of them. Everything is supposed to be spelled next billion creators. For every group in here, because open source is about collaboration, that finds all their partners and spells next billion creators, has an official swag from Open Source Community Africa. So when you go on break, find your partners. I need to see 50 different groups. The tags were made to give us 50 groups. So if you haven't snapped any picture on Twitter, please find your partners and make a tweet. Spell next billion creators. I need to see 50 groups. The tags are designed for 50 different groups. I've seen just a few. I need to see 50. And we have a lot of swags for all the groups that are involved in this. OK, that's for the break. Everybody turn your, raise your phone. Take a selfie with your partner. Everybody take a selfie with your partner. Sultan, please, can you leave the crowd? Take a selfie with your partner. Please make sure your partner wants their picture on social media. Take a selfie with someone around you. Take a selfie with someone around you and tweet with our hashtags. You have one minute to do that. One minute. Okay, a very vital announcement. For the keynote sections that are going to be coming after this, please, when you're on stage talking about their presentation, we don't want the hall to be rowdy because there are cameras everywhere and we want to capture a very, very calm environment. Help us make the experiences we created for you to to the end, like take us to the end of this experience. We need you to take us to the end of our experiences. When someone is on stage giving a talk or a presentation, please nobody should be moving around the hall. And if you have to take your food, follow the instructions by the volunteers. The volunteers are all on white. So if you need anything, meet any of the persons at the back. They are all on white and ask for something. Follow the instructions of the volunteers and help us make this experience great for you. Keep tweeting. Keep tweeting. Keep tweeting our hashtags.
Two that Oscar, two that Samson, two that Ada, two that Ofo, two that anybody you feel was involved in this team. Didi, there, there are so many. We have like a group of almost 20 something persons. Two that anyone you know. And make this event today trend. I will come back here if it doesn't trend. So please keep tweeting. Thank you. Thank you, guys.